I took the GoPro Hero 9 Black for a run and I'm doing the 75 hard challenge. I'm on, this is day 49. This is my first 45 minute workout of the day. Outside, first really cold morning in uh, North Carolina. Uh, it's two workouts uh, a day, 45 minutes each. You have to do one outdoors and um, the other one can be either one indoor, outdoor. No alcohol, no sweets, no cheat meals. Uh, you have to stick to a diet. My diet has been no bread or no fried food. So basically no fast food. Uh, I've lost 12, 13 pounds. I was 188 and I'm about 176, 175. So I'm feeling really good. My personal goal is to have resting abs, you know, like they see in movies, you, you know, you see in like TV and stuff. So like Hollywood abs. I'm trying to get those the, the natural way. Take a progress picture every morning. I gotta take that here in a second. Read 10 pages of a non-fiction book. So you can't read like, you know, Harry Potter. You need to read, the, the idea is like self-help, self-improvement. I'm reading my airplane book uh, right now. Going through all the questions so I can uh, do test prep for my uh, written exam to be a pilot. I've been going through this, you know, crazy transformation of my body and mind. And uh, I just so happened to want to get this GoPro. I just wanted it. Hopefully we are going to South Africa, October 12th. And I just said, you know, what's a, you know, vlog setup? And it's like, look at this thing. This is maybe the best vlog setup I've had. Audio pending, cross your fingers. So let's dive into what it actually sounds and looks like. I'm excited to see what it looks like. I'm shooting 4K 60 right now. Change up the modes on the run. Um, 75 hard challenge I'm currently on. It's day 49. It's 46 degrees today. Uh, we are in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, but I got a new toy. I gotta try it. Like I love having this front screen where I can see what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully the audio sounds good. I couldn't get the media mod, but I haven't had a new camera in a little while I've been really excited about. So yeah, it's been almost a year. So let's go for a run. I don't even know if I turned it on, but I think something smooth is on. Anyway, let's get this first mile done. Now, the stairs. Midway through the workout, feeling good. A little over midway. I never thought I could work out this hard. You know, I'm 34. I've certainly played organized sports through high school into college, but I've never tried this hard at training. Uh, it's been rewarding. <clears throat> you know, it's that feeling where you give yourself, well, you're disciplined and you're basically not satisfying the momentary emotional weakness of self uh, instant gratification of having that snack because you earned it or you know having a beer because you did a good workout later in the day I'm just I'm just seeing the results first half of the run no hyper smooth boost obviously I set up the tripod a bunch of spots but this half super smooth boost Seems pretty good, at least looking through the monitor. It got cold, I had to put this on. Plus, you know, mid mass season. So 
what do we think about the hyper smooth I'm trying to move the camera around a little bit I like it <clears throat> having this front screen is the best because you can actually see where the fuck you're going <clears throat> like framing the shot I know it's a 4x3 but you know it's pretty dope now let's try the cinematic 24 frames per second 4k see the screen moves a little slower it's not for action cam but Curious to see what this look is compared to the activity version. 4K24 is just about perfect. That's how I would shoot everything if I had it my way. Now, <clears throat> that's 4K. Let's change over to 5K for the rest of the workout. This version, you can't see the screen. But it says it's shooting 5K24. So, we'll see. Get a quick shot of the tower. Looking through the monitor, <clears throat> excited at how this looks. And I may go with the 5K more because I'm not distracted by myself in the front in the front screen. But it is good to know. I would say for height, not necessarily for width because it's only a four by three screen. But if you're framing yourself up for headroom. I think this screen is perfect. Okay, so cinematic 5K24, love it. Oh, so cold out there. All right, so thoughts while I was out there. Basically, this thing is a little bigger than the uh, Hero 7, which is my previous one. I think this is the perfectly sized GoPro, especially when you're trying to get the height again. Like, you don't wanna hold the camera too low. You wanna be straight in front or slightly above. Uh, this, this is like the perfect vlog setup right here. If the sound is good, I may be done with my DSLR for vlogs. Not completely, I'm still gonna use it for B-roll cam. I don't have to hold this, you know, heavy clunky thing in one arm out, I can just have this. Like, that's how big this is. This could be my whole entire setup. Um, so let's turn it on. I turned off the beeping sounds, but as you can see, so we're in 5K mode and you can still uh, use the front facing camera, but when you hit record, the front facing cam turns off. That's probably because it's, you know, 5K and it, ha it takes a lot of um, a lot of data to run it or power. But you have the front facing cam to set your shot. And then uh, once you set your shot, you can obviously, you know, record it and run. I was running through it. So there you have it. The GoPro 9 Black is selling for $450. I believe it's $349 or $399 if you sign up for the uh, the GoPro subscription. I didn't do that because I just don't want their cloud service. I like backing up my stuff locally where I can see it. Like on my desk, I have my uh, XL G Speed shuttle. So back up my footage where I'm at. But if you wanna save some money, you can sign up. I think there's a free trial. Uh, I don't know if you have to keep the subscription to get the money off the GoPro, but that might be the workaround. You know, you get the trial subscription and then you cancel the subscription. But GoPro uh, 9 Black, so far, favorite GoPro, I love it. Thank you.